You want to see something cool? Watch what happens if I take this shape and drag it onto this small checkerboard. Well, on the bigger checkerboard, it creates a bigger version of the shape. So what if I repeat the process? And what if I repeat the process again? And what if I repeat the process again, creating a giant beast that covers the entire screen? Welcome to Tandis. This is a puzzle game about geometric transformations. The goal of the game is to try to create the shape that's on the top of the screen. And I've gone a little bit too big. But what's also fun is you can also take it extremely tiny. So you can take the original shape and shrink it a bit and shrink it some more. And eventually it'll be ungrabbable. So I should probably be careful but it has a ton of puzzles with unique geometric transformations and you just got to match the shape this one i take a regular rectangle and make it wiggly so if i drag it onto the checkerboard it becomes a wiggly shape and i gotta make sure it wiggles in the same way that looks about right this game is not finicky it will give you a little bit of leeway here i've got a small and regular cube and i've got to create a fat and diagonal cube so if it starts here i can make it be diagonal but not fat so here, it's diagonal but fat in one way. I could make it even fatter and fatter and fatter, but I think that's starting to get a bit ridiculous. I gotta actually have it go far in both directions. So what if I twist it around a bit using two transformations and now I have a matching shape? So if you want to know the shape is going to transform into, only pay attention to the checkerboard. So this in front of me is a regular checkerboard, but on the left, the checkerboard has rectangles, so it stretches out the shape, and the checkerboard on the side has a wiggly pattern, so it makes it wiggly. So if I take this and make it wiggly, notice that the sh desired shape is much less wiggly. So what if I take the wiggly shape and make it wider, okay? Well, now it's kind of similar, so somehow I have to make it wiggle less. What if I go back all the way to when it's a rectangle and then put it on the long checkerboard? Here you can see it kind of creates a shorter rectangle and a shorter squiggle. What if I have the squiggle try to match like the general shape of the squiggle above? So here it's a general shape, but it's shorter. But then if I put it on the middle checkerboard, the stretched out one will actually match this pretty closely. And the game says close enough. Here you take a regular, <laughs> oh god, checkerboard, and turn it into more of a rotation. As it goes left to right on the regular checkerboard, it spins around the circle. And as it goes up and down on the regular checkerboard, then it goes in and out within the circle. So the way to think about it is the leftmost column of the normal checkerboard corresponds to this slice of the circle. So if I wanted to match the desired shape, it's got to be about this far out, then I'll move it further back. And this looks about right, so let's see if it gives it to me. It does. And the transformations are only going to get more complex as it goes on. So now, if I need to make it back into a cube that's just larger than the original. So, I can actually rotate the shapes like this. So now I have a flat cube. Any way I can get it to, yeah, stand up like that. Because if it just stretches out horizontally, this would turn it into a cube. So I can rotate the shapes manually now. Now I gotta take, is this just a flat shape and turn it into a flat circle? Yeah, flat square into a flat circle. I think if I rotate this to the side, we can show how this transforms. So leftmost column is this part of the circle. Second column is this part of the circle. Third part column, this part of the circle. And you can see it go around. As it goes up and down, I think that's just distance from the center. So how do I get it to become a circle? Well... This is a circle. If I just cover the entirety of the checkerboard, it becomes circular, and I think if I just rotate it like that, it should match. Now we gotta turn it into a donut. Well, I saw before I was able to get like a, a circle like this, or like an open cylinder. Maybe this is the blueprint for a donut. But this is like where the real puzzle solving begins, because like if I take this and put it in here, God, that is weird. Because it also takes into account the third dimension. Oh, that is bizarre. What am I even making? Oh, God. I'm making some weird freaking shapes here. Look at it wiggle. Oh, this is super weird to think about. What if I start with a circle instead? Oh, yeah, maybe have something more like this. It's like a flat donut. Oh, God. So it wiggles like that. But maybe if I rotate, I can find a ah, weird donut thing. I don't know. Mm, all I've done is just create a different disc. So if I make the cylinder here, imagine then I turn it on its side. I don't think on its side like this, but on its side like this. So imagine if it were longer and then the sides wrapped around to touch each other, kind of like that. You can see the donut forming. 
a little big. Maybe they'll give it to me? Nah, it's too big. Big donut. So the way to think about it is that like the circumference of the circle should be equal to the circumference of one part of the donut. So I take this, and then I turn it on side like that. That's pretty close. Maybe it'll give it to me now. Ah, that's good enough. Now I gotta make a full sphere. I feel like I have to work backwards with the sphere. I feel like something I want is a semicircle. Well, actually, if I take the cylinder, rotate it in the same way, see how it's a donut now? If I move it in, it actually becomes a sphere. So a sphere and a donut are closely linked. And that's good enough. Now I gotta create like some sort of weird hourglass thing. Oh, multiple options. I can make it wide, and of course I got the circle. How does it being wide help me? Like if I take the cylinder and I make it thin, I would just have a thin cylinder. Oh, but this is kind of interesting. I can create a half donut. I don't know if that's what I want, it probably isn't. I can also create a quarter donut. Oh, this creates a full donut. Hold on, this is really interesting. And here it creates like a hyper donut. Oh god, okay, we're getting into weird demented zones. I feel like I have to work backwards again. Like, whatever this shape is, you see how like my mouse is kind of tracing a curve of it? Kind of creates like a semicircle, or maybe an arch? An arch that almost kind of looks like this. Like when you do this with the post-it note. I feel like I want to create this sort of shape. Well, actually, if I put the straight line on the circle, I kind of get this weird shape here. So I need to rotate it until I get my desired outcome. And this isn't actually what I would want. Or maybe I have it upside down? I do have it upside down. Oh, look at this. This is really cool to think about. Because, yeah, this is the correct shape. What if I just do half of it? You could see it a little better if I do maybe even a quarter of it. The bended post-it note has shown up. So if I bring it back to full size, this looks about right. It should give it to me. And now I gotta create a bowl somehow. So again, if I trace just like one edge of the bowl, it almost looks would look like a half pipe. Kind of like this. Like if I was to draw a line from the center of the bowl up to the rim. And if I maybe have the size of this, ooh, I got a semicircle here. I would need a quarter circle. And I think this actually gives me a quarter circle on the circle. Like the circle thing, this, this is the shape right here. It's a quarter circle. So if I rotate it like this, I get a bowl. It's a tiny bowl, but it is the same shape. It is a little too small. Go back to here. Maybe I can make like a larger half pipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll try this size, see if it works any better. Well, it did make a larger bowl. This actually looks just about the right size. How cool. Here, whoa, I gotta make like a ripple plate. So I have the regular, I have the wiggly, and I have the circle. It's still the same transformation, just combined to make something really cool. So I feel like what I gotta do is take a circle and put it on the regular checkerboard and see what happens. So how to make a circle like this, I take the circle, and it's a little wiggly now. What if I stand it up? Oh, it's wiggly in a different way than I expected. What if I take the wiggly one and put it on the regular one? I don't know, then it just comes more wiggly, more wiggly, more wiggly, super wiggly. That's not it. What if I take a regular square and turn it into a wiggly one, and then if I make it flat, it becomes a really weird circle. If I rotate it, that looks a little bit more right. Well, let me flip it over. Oh, that looks just about perfect actually on the circle. Took a little experimenting, but then I gotta turn it on its side. Nice. Now I gotta make like a fancy vase. I think again, the first step is to make it wiggly. I think it's just a wiggly cylinder. No, not quite. If I rotate it, mm, doesn't do things in the way I'd hope it does. What if I flip it just so the bumps work in a different way? No, it doesn't change anything with height. What if I, oh, wait a second. What if I rotate it in a different way? What if it's more wiggly like that? Oh, I can see why. 
Because again, as you move up and down this left grid, that makes the circle go in and out. So if my wiggly sheet has like different Y axis, it'll also kind of bump out in the same way here. This should work. It's not the most forgiving, but this is like a semicircle arch. Interesting. So I feel like I have to, yeah, get a half sheet and then maybe get an actual semicircle. I just want to set it up so it's like reasonably on grid. So with this, what kind of transformations can I make? Oh? Hold on. I have a semicircle on the circle. How do I get that pattern to match? Like this actually looks like, yeah, this looks really close to right, but it's just on its side. So if I take this, flip it over, it actually is a pretty similar arch. Will it give it to me? It will. Here I gotta make like an upside down top. I think I have to make um, this sort of shape where it bends up 90 degrees like a half pipe, but have the tall parts be on the inside. So if I half the size on the circle, I'd have a semicircle. So I gotta half it again and then just drag it out far enough because I have uh, the half pipe now. So I take this and rotate it so the tall part is like, that? Maybe it's forgiving. I mean, this looks about like the right shape. And it is. I wonder how the algorithm for close enough works. Anyways, it looks like I have all four transformations. Regular, wide, wavy, and circle. To make this monstrosity. Looks like a freaking wedding cake. Multi-tiered structure. It's all circles. I know there'd be baking in this game. Well, one thing's interesting. If I put the square on the circle, look at what kind of comes out here. It's like teeth or waves on an ocean. Is that helpful? I mean, I doubt it. Yeah, it certainly looks pretty, but uh, I don't see much coming out of this. In fact, I think it's just gonna be more and more demented geometry. Well, if I take the square and rotate it like on its side like this, I get a bit of a cone. Maybe the cone can be helpful? No, I don't think it's helpful. If I take a circle and make it more circular and then make it more circular, all right, so this is, um, welcome to hell. I was just trying to make a wedding cake and I got transported to hell. What if I, like, start by making it long and have it wiggle a lot? Here, at least, like, the amount of wiggles are kind of similar to, like, the amount of tears on the cake. Oh, oh, look at this. Hold on. I recognize this shape from earlier on the circle. It's somewhat familiar. It's not gonna quite, well, oh God, it's not gonna quite work. How do I get this sort of thing to go up in the third dimension? What if I undid to here and rotated this like, oh, on its side, on like a 45 degree angle. Look, this is a l fewer tiered version of that. So hold on, what if I was onto something the first time I did more squiggles? So I reset, I first get the long rectangle, I do more squiggles. And then I take this and rotate it on its side. <gasps> oh, that's it though. It just needs to match it correctly. Yeah, it squiggles in the wrong way, but it's really close. Maybe these squiggles will work? This looks right. It may just be too big. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. If I put it onto the long one and then rotate it twice, shrink it again, now it's just a tall version. Well, how about this? What if I take the squiggly, put it back onto the long one, and I get the short one back? So it's shorter now, so that means it should have a smaller height. That looks really good. Maybe it'll give it to me. Oh my god, that felt so earned. God damn, this game is crack. I want to keep making shapes, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Have a wonderful day, and peace.